NASCAR Cars flying at over 300 km per hour, racing and oval tracks and pushing both drivers and machines to their limits. Alongside the intense competition, dramatic crashes and amazing history, NASCAR is also about clever aerodynamic tricks that make these cars faster and more efficient. Today we are taking a closer look at the aerodynamics of 2019 Ford Mustang. We'll break down its design, measure its drag and lift coefficients, and uncover the secrets of drafting and how it boosts performance. Sounds interesting? Let's dive into it! Let's start from front area. Here, you will notice a large area of high pressure and slow moving airflow. At first glance, it might seem highly aerodynamic, and yes, you would be absolutely right. But this area provides a big amount of air into the cooling system. In NASCAR, cooling is very important. Why? Because these cars push their engines to the limit. Did you know that a NASCAR car engine operates at an incredible 140 degrees Celsius? Now, you might be wondering how does the water in the cooling system not boil away? After all, we know from basic physics that water boils at 100 degrees. The answer lies in pressure. At normal atmospheric pressure, water indeed boils at 100 degrees. But when we increase the pressure, the boiling point rises too. NASCAR engineers take advantage of this principle. By pressurizing the cooling system, they can safely allow the engine to run at much higher temperatures without the water boiling away. This higher temperature improves the engine's efficiency, reduces drag from oversized cooling systems and ensures the car performs consistently over long races. Now, let's go back to the dynamics. Moving on, air accelerates as it flows over the hood, creating positive lift, which is not ideal for stability. As it reaches the windshield, the airflow slows down and creates a small wake. While the wick isn't very large, it is still an area for improvement. On the roof, the air accelerates once again, generating another low pressure area that pulls the car upwards. Next, we can observe an interesting object on the cart. It's called shark fin. This vertical panel looks simple but plays a crucial role in terms of aerodynamics and stability. The shark fin helps the car maintain control at high speeds, especially during the sharp turns. The shark fin helps manage and redirect airflow towards the spoiler. Now, let's take a look at the rear section. We can clearly see a spoiler designed to kick the air upwards, which increases downforce in the rear section and helps improve stability at high speeds. And what is happening underneath the car? At the front, air accelerates significantly, creating downforce and improving stability in the front section. As we move to the rear, we notice a small diffuser. This component structures the airflow, increasing its speed and creating a low pressure area, which in turn generates additional downforce. It's worth noting that this 3D model is based on 2019 version of NASCAR Ford Mustang. Back then, diffusers were not as prominent as they are in today's designs. If you would like me to explore the aerodynamics of newer NASCAR models, leave a like and comment based on that. One of the features which I really like in this car is how the rear section kicks the air upwards. This is a good example of how the rear section should work. This trick reduces overall weight behind the car and improves overall aerodynamics. NASCAR Ford Mustang from 2019 achieves a drag coefficient of 0.47. These vehicles typically have a drag coefficient between 0.45 and 50, meaning the Mustang is aerodynamically efficient for its category. Race cars prioritize downforce and stability over pure aerodynamic smoothness. A higher drag coefficient is part of trade-off, for the aggressive designs needed to stick to the track at high speeds. And here is where it comes all together. Mustang achieved a lift coefficient of minus 0.59, meaning the car is generating significant downforce. A 2019 NASCAR Ford Mustang achieves a solid balance that allows it to stick to the track, providing better grip for corners and improved high speed stability. During NASCAR races, you have probably noticed cars lining up bumper to bumper, one behind the other. That almost looks like a high speed traffic jam. This is a technique called drafting. And it is for a very good reason. When the car is driving close, the car in front punches through the air, 
creating a slipstream behind it. A pocket of reduced air pressure and drag. The car following behind takes advantage of this, facing far less air resistance. The result? The trailing car can maintain the same speed as the lead car while using less engine power. It's a clever way to save fuel, reduce wear on the engine, and even set up an opportunity to overtake your opponents and leave them far behind you. But drafting isn't just beneficial for the car in the back. The lead car also gets an advantage. The reduced pressure behind it minimizes the turbulence that would normally create drag. Essentially, both cars benefit from working together, which is why you will often see teammates or even competitors forming drafting trains during a race. Now, let's have a look at our simulation. The airflow around the front car's frontal area hasn't changed significantly, but the real magic happens in the back. The wake behind the first car becomes much smaller, which reduces the pressure difference. This means the front car experiences less drag than it would when driving alone. Talking about the trailing car, it benefits even more from drafting, facing dramatically less drag force from the air. When we switch to a pressure visualization, we can clearly see that the high pressure zone at the front of the second car is eliminated and all over high pressure areas are significantly reduced compared to the single car simulation. Interestingly, even the acceleration of the airflow above the roof of the second car is reduced, compared to a car driving alone. The benefits of drafting are massive. The lead car achieves a drag coefficient of 0.30 and the second car benefits even more with an incredible low drag coefficient of 0.25. This is a huge difference compared to a car driving solo, and explains why NASCAR drivers rely on drafting so heavily. It is not just about speed, it is just about working together to maximize aerodynamic efficiency. NASCAR is all about speed, precision and teamwork, and the 2019 Ford Mustang shows how smart engineering and aerodynamics make it all possible. From managing extreme engine temperatures to features like shark fin and spoiler that improve stability and downforce, every part of the car is designed for performance. And then there is drafting, a technique that shows how working together can make both cars faster by reducing drag and improving efficiency. With a drag coefficient of 0.47 and lift coefficient of minus 0.59, the Mustang strikes perfect balance between speed and control sticking to the track while racing at incredible speeds. NASCAR is more than just a racing, it is a showcase of innovation and teamwork. If you enjoyed this breakdown, leave a like and subscribe for more insights into the science behind the speed. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.